Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel, welcome to another video, I hope you're doing very well. So today I'm here to do a full face of Makeup Revolution products. There's a couple of new products that I picked up um, because they were doing like a three for two and I was like, I'm going to treat myself to one or two things. So a lot of this stuff is old, but I wanted to do like a full face because I thought if I'm going to incorporate some new products, I might as well just do a whole face. So. I got everything from the Revolution website because I haven't been going outside because I have been sick, slowly getting better in case you couldn't tell by my voice. But um, yeah, so let's just get on with it. So the first product that I'm going to try is new to me, but it's an older product for Revolution um, and it's a primer. So it's the Makeup Obsession um, Prime and Essence Mist. And I got this because it was on sale and I've been wanting to try it for such a long time. And I'm starting to really get into prime sprays, like I've been using the Essence one, which is one of the nicest primers I've ever tried. And it makes my skin like just feel so soft. And before I put on my foundation, it just dries up really quickly and it makes everything look fantastic. So I'm intrigued to try this and see if it works. So let me just give it a couple of pumps. There we go. And smells quite nice actually it's got kind of like a yeah it's like a rose kind of scented you can see all the flowers on the side here so let's get this on i like to completely like douse my face in it <laughs> and just see it just kind of let it settle in for a moment because i don't want to put like my foundation on straight away like onto a wet base but yeah this was only I think it must have been like two or three pounds because it's been reduced because it has been out for quite a while like I don't, it's not like a really old product that they just have lying around but it was just a product that I thought you know what I just wanted to get a couple more things in my basket because you know most places do like free shipping and stuff like that so I thought let me just add that but um, a new product as well that I have is a foundation and this is not new new this is like, I think it came out last year, but I haven't had a chance to try it. So it's the Revolution Matte Base Foundation. And this is going to be the first time that I'm trying this. Um, I got the shade 0 0.5 and yeah, I'm not too sure <laughs> if it will match me, even though I think it's going to be super pale for me because the next one up was sold out and I didn't want to get the next one up in case it was too dark because I like to, I prefer to look pale then look darker because it not match my skin tone essentially because if it is lighter I can therefore maybe add a bit of bronzer and maybe something else on top and then my powder to kind of like settle everything in so let's give this a go I have heard good things about this um and it's a matte foundation as well so that's perfect for me I'm only going to take a small amount first see how it goes because I don't want to put, <laughs> put too much on my hand in case it's just a complete waste of product. So I'm just taking one of my beauty sponges and we're going to just start pumping on my face. And straight away, yeah, it is very white for me. <laughs> um, I have very like yellow undertone, so it's very difficult for me sometimes to like match myself when it comes, especially online. Um, but... I think we can like make it work by just putting on a few layers hopefully i don't think i've even seen any reviews personally on this foundation so i really just wanted to kind of like give it my own first impressions and my skin has been not too bad recently because i don't think i've been going outside because of me being unwell um and i've been staying out of like the some some type of sun that we've been having um and i have been putting on a lot of makeup so it's probably been helping towards my skin feeling quite nice um i mean yeah this foundation is pretty light for me but we're making it work <laughs> we're just like giving it a go so far it's not looking too bad i mean the lighting is quite decent today for me um even though it was snowing a bit earlier I'm filming this on a Sunday um, and hmm, I think I need to add a little bit more because it's not um, 
kind of come in without any type of coverage even though it's meant to be kind of like a full coverage foundation i think i need to put on maybe a bit more but i'm not sure if it's better with certain foundations if you use a brush or a sponge i tend to just be using a sponge a lot recently because it covers more base and my um my brushes aren't just for me aren't as great but let's just go in with another layer i don't know if it's because of the primer that it's making it look a bit weird but it just doesn't look like it's giving me any coverage and especially when it comes to matte foundations you really want it to you just want it to work <laughs> basically so i'm just adding on another layer and yeah as you can tell it doesn't really match me well at all but it's fine once i put um my concealer down and my powder we should look okay hmm i think this foundation was about nine pounds nine eight pounds um, and this was part of the three for two as well so not too bad i don't know um how long they have this three for two sale on for because i know obviously when people watch videos it's always not always the day that it's uploaded or whenever but i have had these products for a few weeks but again because i haven't been trying on any makeup they've just been sitting there <laughs> but i think the three for two might still be on but yeah just check out revolution website so um it's not really made a huge difference to be honest um looking in the mirror it, i just look like i've just added a bit of face paint um yeah that's not it's not done a whole lot for me maybe next time i try i'll use a different type of primer um because it might it might do something different but let's go on with the concealer and i'm using their new eye bright concealer which is apparently everyone says it's like the exact same packaging as like the charlotte tilbury i only own one charlotte tilbury product and that is um her liquid lipstick because that is expensive enough <laughs> so i thought i would give this a go because i'm always on the lookout for a new concealer considering i sometimes like to kind of cover up everything that i have so i got the shade porcelain so i'm just gonna see how long it takes to get into the product and i like the little cushion on top as well because yeah it's just a nice bouncy effect so it's, we're still going is it doing anything so far it's not doing anything let's try a bit longer i don't know how long it takes for these stupid products to come out insane i hope it's not broken um oh i see okay i'm slowly starting to see you probably can't see that well right there we go now before i put on <laughs> before i take out too much let's try in my usual places okay well I did see um, a couple of reviews of this, so and they everyone says it's really nice. So let's see how it works. Let's add a bit here. And again, these days I'm trying not to put on too much um, concealer because it'll probably just look so cakey. But let's give this a go. Okay. I mean, it's blended out very, very nicely. Okay. Yeah, I mean, that's looking okay. I think I might add a little bit more to my um, bags. <laughs> I mean, I, I felt like I got a decent good night's sleep, but it doesn't look like I have. Uh, let's add a bit more underneath. Mm, okay. Yeah. The foundation, I think, is a little bit flaky. Um, but again, it might either be the primer or it could be the foundation. So, I think this concealer was about £12, if that, or maybe less than that. Um, and in the past, I really do like Revolution concealers. Um, but I just, I'm the kind of person that doesn't wear concealer all the time, because I prefer a, high, a higher coverage foundation. 
Um, so, so far that's looking okay. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna put, I'm gonna powder everything down because it's probably gonna get looking a little bit more drier. So I'm going in with my project pan, which is, of course, the Revolution uh, matte powder. So I'm adding more <laughs> matte products to my face, but um, it needs to happen essentially because I do get quite oily. Um, so I need to kind of matte everything down. And oh, this is, I mean, this has already hit pan <laughs> for my project pan and it's kind of falling apart. So I need to be quite careful. Um, all right, fantastic. So this powder I can always rely on to kind of do a, <laughs> a good job for me. Um, and I think the primer might not be the best option. I feel like the foundation is pretty matte <laughs> um of course that's the whole point of it um and the concealer is pretty nice so let's see how it kind of settles in as i go along so i'm just going to go in with my uh another project pan which is my um heartbreakers blush and this product is going to take me a very long time to <coughs> kind of hit pan on because it's such a <clears throat> such a big product but <clears throat> for my project pans I just want to you know set myself some goals when it comes to like wearing makeup even though I've gotten sick <laughs> so I haven't had any time to like use as much product as I used to and then with my revolution highlighter I'm going in with the um set the tone by yeah the highlight of Rodi <laughs> reloaded not rodeo <laughs> um and i'm just taking one of my spectrum brushes this one i haven't used in a while but it's such a nice icy highlighter and i don't think they've the only new ones that they've released i think recently was like xx revolution but i don't really want to buy any of those products at the moment okay so i'm just going to go in with my prime and lock because i do have a new eyeshadow palette that i'm very excited to try because once you see it, you'll see why. Uh, haven't used this one in ages. I thought I lost my prime and lock and then I looked properly and it was there. So <laughs> I was like, this is the only kind of revolution uh, primer, uh, eye primer that I have and I really want to use it today. So good thing I found it. Okay. I am looking pale AF today, so I think it's the foundation that does not match me, but that's all good. So we're going on to the eyes next. And I, like I mentioned, I have a new um, palette to try. So as soon as I saw this palette, I was like, I really, really want to give it a go because most of the packaging and it's the um, I Heart Revolution, like cookie shadow palette. <laughs> I am a sucker for um, packaging, especially when it comes to like child type packaging I just think it's just a funny gimmick that I just can sometimes get behind especially when it comes to these palettes that and they're only maybe six pounds and they do come in quite a few different selections but when I got it I was like this feels amazing it is one of the squishiest things and I love it <laughs> it's obviously looks edible for me as soon as i got it i was like i actually really want some cookies now but i got the uh red velvet version and there are um quite a few different in the collection but i just love that packaging it's just hilarious so and it's pretty big as well especially for um just like a, a decent sized palette so this is the color selection um it's a mixture of kind of some reds and some kind of neutral tone so of course i'm going to go in with the reds today um and try and not do this every so often so i'm just going to take some of my bh uh, cosmetic brushes and they don't have any names on them so i can't <laughs> tell you what the names are um but i'm going to go in with this shade just here um am i going to put that as a kind of crease transition shade gonna tap off some excess and oh and it's looking a bit oily all right 
just going to put that in the crease is tapping away hmm. I think my eyelid um, is just a little bit a bit uh, before I put this on hmm. I really love I love I Heart Revolution uh, palettes. I have quite a few of them when it comes to like the novelty kind of ones, but they're just so cute. I mean, I know a lot of people these days don't like the whole gimmick towards, you know, like child type makeup, of course, because a lot of people like the makeup industry is very big and it's very like professional and very kind of um, <laughs> I mean, some some people take it very, very seriously, of course. Um, but sometimes I feel there's nothing wrong with having just like a gimmick, you know, a lot of people have gimmick actual makeup products, but when you have like gimmick packaging, I just think it's quite fun. Um, and especially when it comes to like these cookie ones, they're just so cute. And they came out with bath bombs that look like cookies as well. And unfortunately I don't have a bath, so I couldn't purchase one, even though I'm like crazy tempted to. Um, okay, so that was the first shade. It's fine. I mean, there's no problems <laughs> so far. So I'm going to go in with the same brush. And the only problem with this palette is there's like one or two mattes and everything else is shimmer. So I kind of need to just work with what I got. Let me just see. Is this a... Uh... Okay. Um... Yeah, a little bit difficult. I might go in with this brown and put it in my inner corner just to kind of darken up the edges just a little bit and I've put on oh, way too much but we're just gonna just tap it on just so it's blended in and just blend in slightly so it's not overpowering that's come in quite nice and like I've mentioned so many times, like Revolution is the UK version of Colourpop where it's constantly coming out with new products and, and even the price range is pretty decent. Like I said, this eyeshadow palette was probably about £6 um, and I know within like a few weeks they're going to put it on sale because they'll be coming out with another collection basically. Uh, okay. So I'm just darkening up the edges just a little bit and don't seem to have many problems so that's fine and then now we're going to go in with a shimmer because we're just going to put a shimmer towards the middle and I'm going to go in with this kind of kind of like a reddish yeah it's red <laughs> this is a red velvet palette so it's like a kind of gold oh that's nice I'm just going to put that in the middle. Oh, wow. I mean, again, I know that these products are super cheap, but I rarely have any problems when it comes to Revolution uh, products. Like, I really like their products. Um, okay. That's very nice. That's super cute. So, I'm going to keep the packaging as well. Like, I know I just did, um, like, a declutter on um, my packaging, but I feel like this little monster is probably one of the cutest things ever. <laughs> so I will keep the packaging. I'm a sucker for cute packaging. Okay. So, I know this is not, like, the greatest palette in the world. <laughs> it's a tribute, but... Um, <laughs> It's it's still just quite nice. I might add um, just one of the first shade at the bottom, just because um, just to emphasise the eyes a little bit more. Okay. Yep, that's fine. Fantastic. So what I'm going to do actually, just to save a bit of time, because the rest of the products are not new, uh, I'm going to do them off camera. So I'm going to do my eyeliner, mascara um, and lips and I'll be right back. OK, so I'm back and as soon as I turned off the camera, I mess things up. So this eyeliner, I completely just, ugh, I think there's something wrong with it because when I put it on my eye, it just like, 
fucking went everywhere. Um, the mascara just is finished. So I need to get rid of it. And then the lips, as soon as I put them on, I regret it because the pink just does not go at all. So it's been a very hit and miss video, in my opinion. I mean, the eyes were looking really nice until I ruined it with this eyeliner, even though this eyeliner is super nice. But I think it's just old now, so I need to yeet it out of a window. But yeah, um, this is my finished look. Foundation, very like, I'm not too keen on it. I will give it another go um, with another primer. The um, concealer was pretty good. Again, I'm going to try it on a different base because maybe the foundation just didn't really work so well. This is just super cute. I mean, I do like this palette, so I will be giving it another go and trying not to ruin <laughs> my eyes again. But yeah, thank you so much for watching, guys. I hope you have enjoyed the video. Um, yeah, so this was like a full face of Revolution products. Please don't forget to like and subscribe because I film and upload every time I get a chance to. And don't forget to follow me on my social media as well because I'm always active on there. So yeah, thank you so much for watching. I hope you're healthy and you're safe and I will see you soon. Bye.